to the Environmental Learning Center at Clackamas Community College. I'm Maggie, an educator here at the ELC, and this is week one of our uh, watershed, Wildlife in the Watershed live stream series, where each week we are going to be learning about a different animal that lives in a wetland. Very exciting. So glad you're joining me this week in order to learn about our friend, the mallard. Let me show you here. Mallards are the most common duck here in Oregon, and they, so you've probably seen these guys around before, um, and they're the most commonly spotted animal here at the ELC. You can probably see them behind me right now. I actually took a walk around the trails of the ELC this morning, and I saw dozens of mallards swimming around looking for food and having a good time, and we're going to see some of those same mallards today, which is very exciting. In order to better get to know these feathered friends, we are going to be uh, taking a closer look at this guy right here, playing a fun memory game, uh, watching a real quick video, and then observing the mallards live here at the ELC. It's going to be super fun. Um, the ELC is a wetland area. Uh, it, a wetland is an area of land that is covered in water. So the ELC is a wetland, and one of the great things about wetlands is that they help cool down and slow down the water um, and also help filter pollutants out of the water as well. Uh, which results in healthier, better water for all types of plants and animals. Um, all types of animals uh, find food, water, and shelter here at the ELC, making it a great habitat for them, including our friend, the mallard. So, alrighty, before we get started, um, just wanted to mention the fact that I um, lived or grew up just 10 minutes from here, and I also was a community college student here, so I have years and years of memories of coming out here looking at the mallards and listening to other types of birds flying overhead and i had a great time one of my favorite things to still do is to sit out in nature really still and quiet and wait as long as i can because if you do that for long enough it's almost like the animals forget that you're there and they'll get really close to you they'll go about their daily lives without getting scared off and it's really fun i hope you'll try it out sometime but before we get started learning about our friend, the mallard, I would like to firstly introduce um, our camera person, Michelle. She's also an educator here at the ELC, um, and she will be monitoring the Zoom chat. So our friend, friendly mallard just said hi. I'm not sure if the mic picked that up, but a nice big loud quack sound. There it is again. <laughs> but Michelle will be monitoring the Zoom chat. So if you have any questions about mallards throughout any point during this live stream, feel free to go ahead and type them into the chat and I will make time at the very end to answer them all. You hopefully will also have an activity sheet in front of you. So this week's activity sheet is titled Meet the Mallards with the first section being the mallard memory game. We are gonna be playing very shortly where I'll be asking you to write or draw as many objects as you can remember seeing. And then the bottom section of uh, the activity sheet is a fill in the blanks. So keep an ear out for these fun facts about mallards throughout today so that you're able to fill in all the blanks. I love the quack, quack of the mallard. It sounds like they're laughing. I love it so much. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get started with meeting this mallard right here. This mallard was once living, um, had since passed away due to nat natural causes and has now been preserved so that for years and years to come, we can get up close and personal and learn about this mallard. So this right here is a male mallard. Uh, we'll be learning a little bit more about how you can tell that. But firstly, um, I'd like to talk about how mallards are ducks and also birds. So ducks are a specific type of bird and mallards are a specific kind of duck. Um, so when we're looking at this guy right here, how can we tell that he's a bird, right? It seems pretty obvious, like, yeah, that's a bird. But if we really think about it, you can tell that he's a bird due to the fact that he's covered in all these beautiful feathers and he also has wings. But as for figuring out why is he a duck versus let's say a robin or even like a flamingo or something? What makes this guy different from other birds? Well, you can tell that he's a duck because he has these beautiful webbed feet. If you've ever been swimming with swimmer's flippers on, you know how they help you kick in the water a lot better. These guys pretty much have swimming flippers built in 
So they're able to swim nicely on the water where they spend most of their time. They also have this nice long flat bill uh, versus something like a sharp beak that another bird would have. And that shows that they love to find food in the water because the bill helps them out a lot with that as well. So now that we have some familiarity with our friend the mallard here, the most common duck in Oregon, let's go ahead and play that fun memory game. I have a table right here in front of me with eight mallard related objects on it. So all these objects are related to adaptations of the mallard. So adaptations are things about an animal that helps them live in their environment. So like I was saying, how the mallard's webbed feet helps them swim, uh, that is an adaptation, a physical adaptation about their body. So underneath this cloth, I have these eight objects. And when I say go, I'm gonna remove the cloth and you're gonna have only just 10 seconds to memorize everything that you see. Once those 10 seconds are over, Go ahead and write or draw as many of the objects as you can remember on the top section of your activity sheet under Mallard Memory Game. Alrighty, you're going to have only just 10 seconds to memorize these objects. Are you ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. Alrighty, make sure to write down or draw all the objects you can remember. How many were you able to get? Two, three, maybe eight? Let's go through them together. Alrighty, I'm gonna put up this piece of paper here just so that you can see me hold up the objects a little bit better. Alrighty. This first object is an egg carton. Female mallards live or lay one to 13 eggs. Uh, they're these beautiful light green eggs in nests that they create pretty close to the water's edge. And they tend to sit on these eggs for about uh, 30 days before they hatch. This next object here is a whistle. It's a pretty funny looking whistle, but it is a whistle. What type of sound do you think a duck makes? If you said quack, you are correct. Female mallards do make that loud quacking sound. You may have heard it here earlier, uh, but all types of mallards actually make all types of different sounds, including short little whistle sounds in order to communicate with each other. This right here is a balloon. Mallards actually have air sacs within their body, very similar to a balloon, that helps them float on the surface of the water. How cool is that? And this right here is a toy car, representing the fact that mallards can fly 55 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car on the highway. Alrighty, this one's my favorite. This object right here is a real mallard wing. As we can see, it has these beautiful long feathers that allow them for flight. And underneath the wing, you can see a bit of bone here. They've got hollow bones um, and these really, really fine soft down feathers, which help keep the mallard warm. Um, Mallard's bodies actually produce a oil out of a gland on their body um, that the mallards then use their bills to spread over their feathers. So if you ever see a mallard straightening out their feathers, cleaning their feathers, they are doing that um, while simultaneously coating the feathers in oil. This oil helps strengthen the feathers so they're not as brittle, um, and it also helps waterproof them and keep them warm. And that's referred to as preening. Alrighty. These next two objects are a little bug and a pile of seeds. Mallards are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals. They love to eat uh, bugs that are in the water as well as on land. So there's a lot of insects that actually start their life cycle in the water, 
um, including dragonflies. So dragonflies will actually spend a majority of their life in the water um, before leaving the water and getting wings. Um, and mallards love to eat dragonflies in every stage of life. Um, so you'll see them surging in the water, eating all types of bug larvae and other bugs in the water. Um, they also love to eat earthworms, snails, and slugs. And then as for plants, they love aquatic plants and plants on land um, and seeds and roots and all types of different things. So they get a nice big variety in their diet. It's really important that the water quality at a wetland is nice and good so that all types of those little um, bugs in the water um, are thriving because that's a really great protein source for the mallards. And protein is very important when they're laying eggs or um, growing feathers. All righty. Then we've got our last object, the rainbow. Can you find all colors of the rainbow on the male mallard? Let's look together. All righty. Maybe a little difficult to see, but he's got that iconic green head. It actually looks a little iridescent. It's actually reflecting a little bit purple, which is just beautiful. They also have these purplish blue feathers under their wings, as well as a yellow beak and orange feet. What a colorful animal. Beautiful. All righty. Now that we've talked quite a bit about the physical adaptations of the mallard, I would like to have us learn a little bit about the behavioral adaptations. So a behavior is something a mallard does in order to thrive in their environment. And I actually have a really quick video of mallards here at the ELC um, doing their thing in all types of different areas as well. Um, so yeah, let's get started with that video. Doesn't appear to be playing. Sorry about this. Do we need to massage her real quick? Apologies. Don't know what's up with this. Okay. I think we should just watch it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Apologies that it won't be in full screen. Um, but here is just a couple quick uh mallard videos as a home tour. So there's different areas in the wetland here where mallards do different things. So as we can see, there are some swimming around in the water. Male and female mallards look quite different uh, with the male mallard for most of the year having this beautiful green head, uh, yellow beak and all that beautiful stuff. But they actually don't look like that year round. They only look like that during mating season. So during the summer, they lose all of their feathers and they grow back new ones. Uh, which results in them looking very similar to the female mallard. So if you've ever come to the ELC in the summer and it just looks like a bunch of females, uh, they actually are some male. Females have this pretty plain looking brown feathers um, in order to camouflage into the nest to protect them and their eggs from predators. And human beings have actually been inspired by animals and have invented our own camouflage through clothing, such as these anti-poaching rangers in South Africa. So when it comes to where the mallards find their food, they do love to search in the water and also on land. That's one of the really great things about their feet is it's good for swimming and also it allows them to still waddle on the land. So here they are searching for plants, probably worms and bugs. Um, soft stemmed bulrush is that grass growing um, near the edges that they love to eat. And like I was saying, dragonfly larvae in the water and also adult dragonflies in the air 
are two of their favorite snacks. So you could consider both the water and the land as the Mallard's kitchen. Wow, look at all those ducklings. Do you have that many siblings? Because I sure don't. All righty, when it comes to the Mallard's bedroom, uh, they love rocks and logs sticking out of the water because it allows them to rest their legs or, rest, or be out of the water and comfortable, but also uh, be surrounded by water, which protects them from predators. That's one of their favorite things about the water um, is that it protects them just like a moat around a castle would. Alrighty, now that we've seen where the mallards um, tend to spend their time, the types of behaviors they do in order to thrive, and the way the physical adaptations of their body help them thrive as well, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the live mallards here. As we're looking at these mallards, I would like you to go ahead and um, think to yourself about why they're doing that and what they're doing um, so that we can learn more about them. All right. Take a good look. As we can see, there is a male and female mallard standing on a log, swimming around. Mallards don't seem to mind the rain too much. It's a little out of uh, frame for us right now, but there is a very large group of mallards on land currently looking for food. Oh, and there's a couple swimming through. Cool. Let me go ahead and join them down there and we'll have are we doing it? Right. One of the really cool things about mallards is the fact that they're not super scared of people. So I can get down real close and observe them. Wow, there's like dozens of them right now. Incredible. Alrighty, I wanna spend just a little bit of time um, answering your questions before we head out. But let's go ahead and say goodbye to our friends the Mallets here real quick first. All right. If you have any questions, please type them into the chat. All right, if we don't have any questions in the chat right now, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. I do have a question. Okay. Uh, how many mallards do you have? Yeah, someone asked how many mallards do we have? I assume here at the ELC. Um, due to the fact that it is winter, we actually have a lot of mallards that have migrated here uh, from up north. So. The area they were living in was too snowy and cold for them to find enough food, so they flew down south to us. So I would say we have probably, I don't know, dozens and dozens of them, probably at least, yeah, three dozen from what I'm seeing right here. Um, and some of them are year-round mallards that stay here, but a lot of them currently are visitors from a colder climate. What is the rarest stuff you have? Oh, great question. Someone just asked, what is the rarest duck you have? So I believe what we're seeing right now is just mallards, which are the most common duck. Um, but another duck I've been seeing a lot of here is a merganser, a hooded merganser. 
um, which is a very cool duck with a mohawk sort of thing. Uh, I'm not sure if we're able to see any right here, but I highly recommend that you go search in, either come to the ELC or find some other pond and try to find one because they are super cool. In the summer, can you still tell if they are mallards? Great question. Someone asked, in the summer, can you still tell that they are mallards? Yeah, so you can tell that they are still mallards, uh, but being able to identify whether or not they are male or female is a lot more difficult because they both have that camouflaged feathers. But yeah, they still look very much like a female mallard. So you can still confidently see one and go, that's a mallard, I know what that is. What's the average lifespan of a duck? All right, great question. Someone asked, what is the average lifespan of a duck? So mallards in the wilds tend to live one to three years, uh, but the longest living one that I was able to find in the wild um, was actually able to live 20 years, which is super cool. Okay, last question. What are the duck's predators? What Great question. Someone asked, what are the duck's predators? That's a very good question. Uh, there are all types of animals that will eat uh, the eggs of the mallards. Uh, that can be raccoons, all types of other creatures like that. Um, and then there are also predators that can eat adult mallards, such as coyotes. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Okay, there does look to be a merganser out there. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it. But, oh, yep, yeah, there he is. He's got like a bright um, white head with like a black mohawk, if that makes sense. There he is, see, yes. Very beautiful duck. He's willing to hang out with the mallards. Very cool. Great question. Oh, a Alrighty. Oh, and there's a female merganser as well. It has a, a little bit more of a brown coloring, but still that same mohawk. Very cool. Alrighty. We are running out of time here today. So let me just answer the last quick couple questions of can they eat berries and is it good to feed them breadcrumbs? And the quick answer to that is yes, they can eat berries and all types of different plants. Um, and no breadcrumbs is not particularly nutritious for them, uh, but bird seed or corn or anything like that um, is a nice alternative. Um, but already, don't wanna go too over time today. So thank you all so much for joining me today and for your amazing questions. So glad that we got to meet the mallards. I hope you'll join us next week to learn about nature's builder, the beaver. Uh, but until then, please get outside, take care, and respect all those who live outside. All right. Bye. Until next time.